We are on the go with Joe, and today you can join a special celebration of the legendary Spruce Goose airplane. The plane flew for the first and only time on this date 75 years ago. Joe is joining us live to tell us about today's special anniversary event in McMinnville. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Back with the Evergreen Aviation Space Museum CEO, Tyson Weiner. I told you he was a Coast Guard pilot before he uh, ran a museum, so, you know, he had to make a, make a little costume change. He's got his flight jacket on because we're aboard the Spruce Goose. As you guys mentioned, Howard Hughes's legendary plane flew on this date 75 years ago. They have a huge event here. Now, the area where we are right, right now, this is an area that you don't normally get to visit. You can be a part of a special VIP tour, and I happen to know a VIP. So here we are because I want to show off just what makes... It just illustrates what an incredible piece of uh, you know uh, machinery this this plane is. What are we staring down right here, this corridor? Yeah, so that is about 150 feet deep uh, towards the wingtip on the starboard side of the aircraft. So, so we're literally looking down the the wing of this plane. The wingspan was 320 feet. I believe at the time it was the largest wingspan ever. I believe it's since I believe been surpassed, but. Massive, right. uh, nonetheless. Absolutely. And as we walk our way through here, so we're in kind of, I guess, the, the main cabin here. I don't this know. Is the, yeah, this is called the flight deck here. The flight deck makes sense. You mentioned there are actually engines inside the plane. Correct. And so, so these are the same kinds of engines, uh, although these were used to uh, actually, through this hand crank here, uh, to get these engines started, that produced the power and electricity required to then start the subsequent engines, four on each of the wings. So it's your little starter, and then... Those would go, those would fire up, the plane would fly. Man, it had to be pretty loud in here. Now, on the one flight, again, and it happened on this date back in 1947, uh, Howard Hughes was basically just taxiing the boat, because I, I call it a boat. It was a flying boat was the Correct. idea. On the water, taxiing on the water, there were some reporters on here. Yep. Members crew. of the press were invited to be in. Those people had no idea that oh, he's gonna take this thing into the air. That's correct, and Howard Hughes sat there himself uh, being interviewed and when the reporter specifically asked him, his response was, well, I like to make surprises. Well, there you go. So I'm going to get to, oh, my goodness, sit here in the seat. Now, uh, the special uh, celebration that's going to take place today kicks off really in earnest at 1.30, which is the exact time that the uh, Spruce Goose took flight uh, 75 years ago. Should mention, you know, a lot of people say, well, can you fly this thing today? Uh, not for real, but... A Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is a very cool game that I've actually played. I have it on my Xbox. Starting next week, people will actually be able to fly the Spruce Goose. It's going to become part of the game. And you said they came out here and captured every element of this plane, and you'll get to feel what it really felt like to fly this 75 years ago. I think there are going to be some very special surprises, uh, some related to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, one in particular we're really going to share today from huh? the governor's office. Ah. Uh, and so really welcoming everybody to be a part of the celebration today. Uh, coming in to enjoy an extra hour of, of, of being open. So we'll keep the doors open until 6 p.m., uh, inviting everybody to come in and celebrate this special occasion. It's half price day, by the way, so come on down. Uh, for more information, just check it out at kptv.com. We got it there for you. Well, thank you very much, Captain, for having us aboard. Do thank appreciate you. it. And, guys, uh, that'll wrap it up from here aboard. The pilot's seat, by the way, of the Spruce Goose. Wow. Let's send it back to you in the studio. Boy, it just gives you goosebumps Buckle in the up. history with that. Joe, so neat. Thank you so much. And, boy, half price, you can't beat that. No? You really